Somebody recently said they have all these video clips on their computer and they don't know how to edit them and get them up onto YouTube. So I thought I'd do a quick video to show you guys how I do it. I use a pretty basic program. Here's one of the older versions I have it of. I can't find my newer version box. This is Pinnacle Studio Ultimate. It was like 129 bucks. It has all these different effects and visualizations. It has a green screen with it. So you can see that in the box if I can get it open. Yeah, see there's a green screen in there. I've used the green screen one time for a contest video. But this program's quite old. It's four or five years old. I went ahead and upgraded to Pinnacle Studio 15. But I didn't get all the visualizations and things like that. At Best Buy, I believe it cost me, I don't know, 50-some bucks. It wasn't too expensive. And it's easy to use compared to a lot of the other video programs. Now, I'd like to use something like Sony Vegas. But quite frankly, I'm not in the mood for the learning curve right now. This has been just fine for me. And all the videos that you've seen me put up in the last several years have been with this program right here. Let me show you how it works. This is Pinnacle Studio HD, also known as Pinnacle Studio 15. I just shot a video this morning we're going to work with. It's right here. Now, if you go back, this is kind of what it looks like. You've got to find your file. My file's right here, 2012-229. I click on it. And there are the clips that I shot today and the clips from the video I'm going to put together that's going to go up after this video. I believe this is my first clip. I drag it and drop it right here into the little editing timeline. And I press play. You'll kind of get a little insight of how I do things. Hey, what's up? I'm ha All right, there's the beginning of where I'm talking. I'm going to back that up, and I'm simply going to right-click on here, split clip, and I'm going to right-click on that split part and delete it, and there we go. The start of the video is going to look like this. Hey, what's up? I'm having to mess around with the VMS2 and Virtual DJ Pro today. Now, the first night I did the video club, I... So it goes on and on and on, and I know... But I'm done talking here because I can see a visual representation of the audio on that clip. Split clip again. Delete, and my first clip is done. Now, granted, I could probably use this program a lot different than I'm using it here. It's just how I do it. It's probably the lazy way to do it. I don't add a lot of effects and stuff. Here's our next clip. All right, so we're rock Okay, so I can back it up right about here again split clip highlight that clip delete it that's out of the way and uh... i don't know i want to see what i said here so i'm going to watch it we press play we move our crossfader over and we don't have any video well, what do you do let me show you something all right that's good i'll split it there and delete that bit and it goes on and on and on, kind of like that. All right, I've completed my video editing. Now I have to go ahead and make a video. So I go to this tab up here, Make Movie. Now the settings I use are MPEG-4. I do it in HD 720p. And I click Create File. And I name this file. You can call it anything you want. I'm going to call this one uh, VDJ Visualizations. DJ Viz, that's good enough. Click Save, and the file starts rendering. This does take a while, so be patient. Probably as long or a little longer than the video is itself. It's crunching everything there into an MP4 file. Okay, the video rendering process is almost done. This probably took between 5 and 8 minutes and 720p HD. But I don't go crazy with this program. I could use it and do a lot more things with it, a lot of different, um, I guess, visualizations. Oh, there goes, made the noise. All kinds of transfers and effects, but I think most of you just want to see cool videos or helpful videos. You don't need a bunch of effects. We're not trying to do Hollywood productions here. Just a quick, easy way to edit videos. If you got any questions on that, as always, leave them right down here in the comment section. Again, I'm not an expert on this program, but I use it, and I think the results are pretty decent. Practice and enjoy.